Impact segment tonight, the upcoming ethics trials of Congresswoman Maxine Waters. Congressman Charles Rangel will be well covered, and that's bad news for the Democratic Party. So the spin machine is being ramped up with Washington Post columnist Eugene Robinson in the lead. It seems like something of an anomaly, and this is not a new uh, uh, complaint by African American uh, members of, of Congress. Um, uh, you know, we've heard in years past that they feel they're under greater scrutiny and held to a higher standard. In addition, Ms. Waters herself has raised the racial issue. Joining us from Philadelphia, Dr. Mont Lamont Hill, who teaches at Columbia University here in New York City. Um, all right, so uh, this is the spin now that uh, Waters and, and uh, Wrangle are the victims of a witch hunt or whatever you say? Well, first, let's let the investigation be fully carried out. If they did something wrong, we need to take that seriously and they need to be punished. Do I think that the investigation itself is racist? I would say no. I think whenever there's an ethical issue, we need to raise it, whether they're black or whether they're white. I think some of the conversation around the ethics investigation has become racialized, though. When you start saying that members of the CBC are being investigated, we're essentially saying that black people in Congress are being investigated, which makes a racial flag go up. I say investigate them if they did something wrong. If, they, if it's true, get them out of there. If not, let things carry on but as they I don't know be. who's raising the race uh, card other than far left people. I, I haven't heard anybody saying the CBC is bad. CBC is a Congressional Black Caucus or, or they as a group uh, are uh, pernicious in any way. I haven't heard that. All I keep well, hearing is from people like Eugene Robinson who traffics in racism every time you turn around. Oh, you know, <laughs> this, you know, no. you gotta looking at that. Come on. I wouldn't go, yeah, no, no he doesn't on. do that. Sure no. he does. Look, you, all you gotta do is Google his columns and read them. I mean, he, he's always nah, raising he, he speak, that He card. speaks the truth about race. He speaks the truth, about, the truth about race. But the point here, Bill, is if you have eight members being investigated and all eight are, are black, it does raise a, a kind of curious eye because these types of things, for example, if you look at Maxine Waters, having a troublesome relationship with a bank or a curious or a problematic meeting with a bank is something that a whole lot of members of Congress do, probably not well, just wait, the black wait, ones. Wait, 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 wait. You don't know what she did, and I didn't know what... I don't. I don't know what I don't. she did. So you can't be diminishing... I, I, Look, if Congress is... I'm not, dimin I'm not diminishing Congress anything, Bill. Is, is I'm saying it's, worth, it to that it's a question level. worth raising. Yeah. Look, Newt Gingrich, Mark Foley, bunch, a whole bunch of white guys, more white Duke Cunningham, more white guys than black guys and have been taken down by these ethics investigations. I agree. So, you know, the guy who's tickling, Bill, but you know, come on. <laughs> but imagine, Bill, if, if someone came out and said, you know, over the last two years, eight white members of Congress have been investigated. All of a sudden, there'd be an assumption there's some, some kind of connection between their behavior and race. No, I'm but, saying, right, let me ask them. you this question, and I'm asking this with sensitivity. The, as, as always. Well, I try. I mean, you know me. I mean, I'm trying to be fair to everybody. You I don't do care what color you are, all right? If you have a percentage of black lawmakers on the Hill, and it, it is a much higher percentage of, of investigations directed toward them. You can make two conclusions. Number one, that there's a higher risk in the category. And number two, they're targets. You can, those are the only, you, know, you can go either way on it. There's and, a higher risk right, where they're and, targets. And there's, and there's plenty of reason to believe that they could be targets is all I'm what, saying. Why? Give me when one reason to believe that because this is a Democratic-controlled administration now. You're telling me that yeah, well, the Democrats I, I'm gonna are turning on I'm going to give you a news flash. This is going to shock you, Bill, but there are racists among the Democratic Party, too. But why would they the, do the that? If, if, if black Americans vote for the Democratic Party to the tune of more than 90 percent, why would the Democratic Party want to target any black uh, lawmaker? That's insane. Well, no one, ever, no one ever accused the Democratic Party of being wise around issues yeah, of race. Wash. But my point here... Come on, Professor. But, but it doesn't my point, my point, my, but my, I agree it's not wise, but my point here isn't to blame Democrats or Republicans. It's to say that it's a question worth raising to say that if everyone being investigated is black, Perhaps they are. Are they not being targeted here? But they're, they're I think everyone isn't black. The Tickle Me Elmo guy uh, was white. All right. I mean, no, no, I'm talking a about whole a, bunch of white we're guys about, in that mix. We're talking. We're talking about the investigations that have happened over the last year. We're talking about the last. No, the Tickle eight. guy but was again, about six but, months ago. Come on. But, but again, but again, but again, Bill, I started from the point that I'm not saying that this is a racist thing. I'm saying that it's it's a question worth raising. But right now, I'm much more interested in finding out if they did this stuff. When we look at Roland Burris, for example, it seems it seems to me that he was misleading. When we look at uh, uh, William Jefferson down in Louisiana, he clearly did something wrong here. Charlie Rangel has four rent control departments. Okay, so I'm not going to defend that. Right, right. I'm so when you, as a behavior. liberal thinker, see Robinson and others right away throwing this race card out there, and as, along with Congressman Waters, how do you react? 
Well, the first thing I want to figure out is what, what their reasoning is. If it's just because they're black, it's I say deflection. that's not enough. The reasoning is that they want to deflect not the issue from what happened into a race deal. Well, no, I'm not saying that. I think that if, again, I'm, I, I think that even if they did something wrong, there could still be a race dimension here. We just have, they just haven't made the case yet. Let's keep investigating. Let's not right. assume it's race, but let's not dismiss race either. I, you're dismissing race. I'm, I'm not saying, dismissing let's investigate anything. And find I, out. Just, I just think that I agree with you. We should find out what happened. And then on the back end me? of it, yeah, I, once in a while. Uh, then yeah. on the back end of it, man. after we find out exactly what happened, then we can discuss the other thing. You don't put the other thing as the headline. Doc, I got to run as always. Thank you for coming on. Or how does it feel?